my channel oh my goodness it's been such a long while I have been dealing with so much but I'm just glad to be back I'm gonna be creating a makeup look it's Cinco de Mayo this weekend so my friends and I are going out to just drink some margaritas so I'm gonna be creating a fun night look going out type look so let's just get right into the video I am actually in a rush so I'm just going to try to talk through the video, but not really, because I really got to go. I'm going to be using the Morphe Bow Smooth palette. I've been using this palette ever since spring, spring, ugh. been using this palette ever since the beginning of spring. It has so many fun colors, so. All right, let's get right into it. I already did my eyebrows, as you can see, so I'm going to go ahead and prep my eyelids. I'm using the MAC and C50 Studio Finish Concealer. I'm thinking that there's three. So one, two, and three. Today I posted a blog post on our engagement story, Joey and I's engagement story. If you guys don't know, I'm engaged to this cool guy. His name is Joey. <laughs> I'll link my blog in the description so you guys can check out that blog post and see our engagement pictures. I recently started using a coffee ground scrub. And it's actually real coffee grounds, not, you know, scrub made out of coffee. Just come home and use them to scrub my entire body. It is so good. Your body feels like you've applied shea mo moisture after you wash off the coffee grounds. It's so cool. You guys should try it out. I think I might do a video on it. But, you know, in the meantime, you guys should try doing that. It's so fun. I mean, your skin feels amazing and I use it to scrub my face as well so just not the body but the face too all right so I'm gonna use a different blending brush that has a has thicker bristles this is a blending brush I always use it's the Morphe M332 brush so now I'm just going in with the with this color for the outer corner I need to tell you a funny story. One time I was at work and I asked one of my colleagues, when is Cinco de Mayo? <laughs> I'm so stupid. Who asks that? She just laughed at me. She's like, oh, you know, that's the 5th of May, right? It's like saying, when is the 5th of May? I really need to brush up on my Spanish. Okay, so I'm gonna apply concealer on the lid before I apply their lid color. I'm gonna go back into the outer corner with the color that I used for that part and just blend everything together I'm gonna apply eyeliner and this is the elf I'm gonna apply a mascara. Won't see by in Lancome. Just 
So I do have one camera battery, so I I'm going to go ahead and charge it. It's right now it's warning me that it's about to die. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and apply foundation, and then I will apply my lashes, and then I'll come back and just proceed with everything. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna do my foundation on camera. I thought I'll do it off camera just to buy time while the battery was charging, but I'm just gonna do it on camera. Clinique Stale Oil Free Matte Foundation in the shade 29C. So every time I'm going out with my friends, I, because we do sweat a lot from bar hopping and you know just being in crowded spaces, so I like to minimize on the foundation that I apply. So I put just a little bit, not too much. I've been using this foundation for forever honestly and I love it I love this foundation so much it just works with my skin texture and it gives you a natural finish I don't know if you guys noticed but it just gives you a, that natural glow you know I don't know I like it I'm using the Mac Pro Long Wear Concealer in the shade NC45 and I'm just gonna put a little bit in the back of my hand just that much maybe a little bit more like that it's fine I like to come towards the side of my nose like this just to define it I'm gonna use a blending beauty blender and blend that. So I'm gonna set this with the Black Radiance Loose Powder in the shade Banana. And then to contour, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Espresso. You guys remember I told you about this brush, this blending brush that I use from Sephora to contour. It's what I'm going to be using. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Put a little bit like that. I'm going to go into blending. Then I'm going to use the remaining product in the brush to just contour my nose. Okay, so now I'm going to apply blush. That's a blush blush. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Mophie 104 brush. This is an angled brush. I like using this brush because Actually, no, before I, let me take a step back. I'm gonna set the contour. I'll be using the ABH bronze powder in the shade Mahogany. So I like using an angled brush, this 104 M Melfi brush. I like using an angled brush for contouring and blush because it blends everything in easily. So now I'm going to apply blush. And I think I forgot to set everything with powder. Usually I do that before I contour and 
apply blush so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply powder in those areas that I need to set I'm not gonna apply it where I contoured I don't know where I put my blush because I don't want you to put an overlay of product. I noticed the areas that I highlighted were still, I don't know, they didn't look even. And I realized, oh crap, you have not applied blush. I mean, powder. Ooh, these edges. They're so dusty right now. Go ahead and apply highlighter. I'm going to be using the Artistry Artist Couture Highlight in the shade Concierted. It's a Diamond Glow Powder by Artist Couture. And I'm just lightly applying it on. Lastly, I'm going to work on my lower lashes. I'm going to use this black color for starters. Just slightly apply it. And then I'm going to go in with the transition color to blend everything in. I'm gonna set the whole look with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Charged Water. It's a charcoal water. Uh, for lipstick, I don't even know what kind of lipstick to apply, to be honest. I think I'm gonna apply a red lip. I'm feeling very red right now. I think I'm gonna apply Russian Red by MAC. I'm gonna clean up this a little bit at the bottom. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I was a little bit of a mess all over the place. I didn't have my ish together. My battery was dying. My table was messed up. But we got through the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and comment. Hit the subscribe button. And most importantly, hit the bell for notifications so you guys can get a ding every time I upload a new video on my channel. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!